So after much of a motivation and you being out of your procrastinative mind, today we'll talk about one very important aspect which is very essential for our day-to-day -day activity. That is decision making. I know you do at least thousands of decisions or you take thousands of decisions every day. But today we'll try to not nitpick some of the decisions which we'd make every day, which happens very unconsciously like that of what do we cook today? What do we eat today? What do we buy from these stores? And probably what do you wear for your office? So those things are not much which bothers us, but rather we'll think about something like where are essentially financial matters are involved. Probably even your job skills or the lifestyle changes which you do for your the rest of the life will impact your current way of thoughts or current way of living. So today we'll try to understand what influences our decision making and how we can actually create better decisions for our lives. So first things first, emotions is one of the best way to understand yourself. So let's assume that you're very angry and somebody gave you a platter of decision to you. Now what happens is this decision is what going to actually create a lot of imbalances in your mind. So Taking a decision when you're angry is very short lived. It is not going to lead you to a longer reasoning. Second thing is sadness. So if you're sad and if you take a decision, then probably you will keep yourself more reserved. Similarly, during fear, if you try to take a decision, you don't have much logic to the outcomes of your decision. You are having a very irrational thoughts when you go under fear. So that is the reason why when you are angry or when you are sad or you are feared of something, don't take decisions. That is much better for you than to regret it later. So you, when you are happy, when you are joyful and when you are actually balanced in your mind and body, where you can feel that you are very comfortable taking a decision or where you don't have much clutters around you, then you take a better decision in your life. So having said that, we need to understand that if you really want to make a important life-changing decision, probably you should take it in early in the morning or in especially in the morning. So what happens is once you wake up in the morning, your thought flow is actually better. So it is not so fast. It is not so rapid. So you take some time to create a good ambience for your thoughts to flow and you make a better decision, especially in the morning. And as the day progresses, your thoughts become much faster and you become less accurate and your decisions are basically not so good when it compared that to your mornings. Let's say you are going to change your job and you thought about this in the evening. Don't make a decision that soon. Take your time, go to sleep, sleep over the thought, get up in the morning, freshly think about the pros and cons of joining the new job. And if it suits you, take the job, take the offer. So this is better than to regret it by taking decisions in utmost joy and probably even taking a decision very rapidly. The second important thing which we need to focus is about taking a time off and being or having a distance ourselves from the current situation. Have you ever noticed that you take a better decision when it comes to your people around you, when it comes to the family of you? Or, or even the relatives around you. So basically, you are a better decision maker for other people than for yourself. So when you have a problem, you take a very not so good decisions for yourself. So this is what we call in psychology as Solomon's paradox. What exactly we mean by Solomon's paradox is Solomon is a king of Greece. So he is also used to take a very good decisions for his courtyards, his people around and his kingdom. But eventually he had his own life problems which he couldn't deal with. So ultimately this life problems which he couldn't deal with and he couldn't uh, accept it eventually led him to lose his kingdom. So it is seen that people are very wise when they aren't involved in the situation. So you also need to be as a third person per, and you should take a decision of your own life. So now this is what we call as wise reasoning. So where you have a better way of looking into your own life and trying to balance out the pros and cons and take a better decision. So always step out of your shoes, wear anybody else's shoes and think how exactly you can function if you have to take a decision. So this will lead you to take a better decisions onto the challenges which you have been meeting. 
And the next one is a very important one, which I think it is very close to our heart. It's meditation. So meditation is known to boost our decision making skills. So meditation, it also increases our resistance to sunk cost bias. So what exactly is sunk cost bias? Let me give you a situation. You know, it's raining heavily and uh, you want to reach to some destination. Now you have booked a cab or you have booked a taxi. Now because it's raining and you have booked a taxi, now you look at the situation outside, it's the traffic is piling up and probably now the cancellation fees will also increase. You have an option of choosing a metro, but still because your monetary involvement is involved in this decision, you try to stick of not cancelling your cab today. So what happens is the cab arrives later and then you sit in the cab, you continue the journey, reaching your destination a little bit more later and also paying up heavy price for the traffic and for the rains. Now this is what we call as sunk cost bias. You knew that traveling in metro or traveling in a train will actually reduce the cost but because there was already a pre-costed approach when uh, booking a taxi now cancelling the taxi itself become a very bad decision for you so though it seems to be very logical to you you didn't do it just because you need to pay additional sum of cancellation and also pay the additional ticket for the same ride through the metro or the train so now you are thinking about multiple choices and that is what hampers your decision making. It has also seen that meditation makes or lets you take a good decision regardless of your previous action. So even though you have taken some kind of a wrong decision or you might have felt that the decision which you take was not exactly good for the previous things which you have used the same methods. Meditation will give or try to open up much more possibility or much more ways in understanding the previous situations better or the current situations better and try to be unbiased or try to be more of in a neutral way and understanding the current situation to its current proposition. So this is the reason why when you go for or you, when you are taking a bigger decision, you need to keep yourself in a more calmer place and when you are in this reasonably balanced state of your body and mind, Take a decision. So once you take a decision, you commit to the decision. Throw yourself into the decision which you have made, swim across and see what happens. Ultimately, not every decision what we make, even though we have so much of guidelines or even though we have so much of theats, they generally seems to be not much of a helpful in nature because sometimes we end up having a bad decision. You made a decision because you just gave your 100% to it. So. Just let it happen and let's see what exactly happens at the end of our journey in completing the task which we have taken up. So in this way, we can actually keep ourselves more prepared, more open to the decisions which we make. And the longer the decisions we make, the better experience we get. And the good decisions we make, it increases our lifestyle, it increases our way of thoughts and also it increases our confidence. So make sure to take the appropriate step in approximating your decisions. Don't feel bad about any kind of wrong decisions. See you soon in the next video. We will talk more about such intriguing mental health challenges. Till then, take care. Happy decision making.